life and living at the Jersey Shore. I'm Tom Smith with the Tom Smith Group, and we are affiliated with Mary Ellen Realty in Ship Bottom, New Jersey. Today, we'd like to welcome Nadine Feldman from Green Tree Mortgage in Harbor Township. Hi. Welcome. Uh, so, there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to obtaining a mortgage. Right. You're okay. here to talk to us about it. Yes, I am. You often see advertised um, a mortgage amount, like $1,000, but that only includes principal and interest. There's other fees and stuff that goes into it, so can you help my clients understand why it's going to be more than just the principal and interest and why they're not going to have that $1,000 payment at the end of the day? Well, when we qualify them, they need to qualify for what we consider your housing expense. It's principal, interest, so that's just on the loan itself. That's the PI. Yes. Then we have taxes. T. And the I is insurances. Mm -hmm. Why I say that is, of course, you finance the house, you need homeowner's insurance. Okay. But then we also have possible PMI or MI. MI is on the government side. But that's what you're paying for for not having the down payment. All those are mortgage insurance. There are mortgage insurance. And that's an extra insurance that if you fail on the loan, the loan is insured. Right. It doesn't protect you as the buyer. Right. It protects the bank. It protects the bank. Mm -hmm. So, hence the PITI comes into play. Right. Now, the bank gets the principal and interest, even though you're going to pay up mm -hmm. the whole figure. And I explain to my clients, the tax and insurance, is we call it an escrow payment. Okay? That escrow payment is split over into a savings account that they can't touch. It is their money. So they can't touch it, but it's there and it builds up. So when the taxes are due, the mortgage company cuts the check. Every year, when the homeowner renews again, the mortgage company checks, you know, cuts the check. The mortgage insurance, the PMI, that actually gets paid out, you know, as well on a monthly basis. So that's taken that, care of as that's well. That's in that. Uh, that's all savings in account. that savings account. Right. You can't which, touch. which they see at, from the bank as escrow every month. Yeah, yeah that's which correct. Is there's a lot of names. Escrow has a lot of different roles in the real estate transaction, and a lot of my clients are always like, well, what's this escrow thing? There's escrow accounts, there's escrow payments. There's, can you explain the, the difference? Well, the key with an escrow, think of it. An escrow is something that's being held for them. Now, for instance, if I'm going to buy the house and I need to give you an escrow deposit or a good deposit, deposit, deposit or a deposit, 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 lots of different names, you take that money, to show the seller I'm serious about buying that house. Right. And that we put it in our and to you realtor trust realtor. account. Yes. And that trust account is, we call an escrow account. account. Right. right. Because it's not more money. Right. We're right. holding the We're money holding. for you. That's the key. So, the yeah. word is holding. Right. So escrow really across the whole board is that we're holding money for someone. So you're holding money for the life of the loan for right. the client. We only hold the money a little bit up front when we take the deposit. And then at the closing, we bring that money to the table mm -hmm. for them. It's not, it's that's not profit to anybody. That's their money that's that their we money. we bring to the closing table as realtors. And of course, sometimes that goes into other things. But we hold the money. It's called escrow. But what they're really talking about escrow for the life of the loan is that savings account. That savings account. Right. Now right. taxes and insurance seem to go up every year. So right. that payment, that escrow payment that's part of their PITI, has to increase every year. Right. Um, right. So that actually, again, makes sure that they have enough money into that savings right. account. So that's why escrow goes up. But really, when the bank, when, they, when they're on television and on the internet advertising a loan, and your payment will never, never go up. That's correct. The so PI I won't go up. The PNI will never go up. But your escrow, your, your TII, could fluctuate with the, with the times. Insurance prices change and all of that. Thank you. That was that was really good. So thank you, Nadine. That was fun. Oh, we enjoyed you. ourselves. You are all right. You know that. We have you back again. Yes, right. anytime. I think everybody knows a little bit more about mortgage. Right. Though. I hope so. so. And if they don't, they can always give me. We're going to have them reach out. If you want to talk to Nadine about anything in the mortgage world, feel free to give her a call. It's Green Tree Mortgage. Uh, what's the best way to reach you? Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone, uh, cell phone is 609-226-3491. You can get her there anytime. And uh, it's N.
Feldman at GreenTreeMortgage.com. So that's an email address. But give her a call or reach out to us. We'll hook you up with her in two seconds. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks.